let's start using the RTC 9001 real-time controller we enable the servo valve we choose a control mode in this case position and a ramp waveform enable servo valve by pushing this button and we enable the pressure this is the pressure enabled and the PID now is working after I have enabled the pressure I can give a set point to the actuator and the actuator starts moving at a ramp rate of 5 millimeters per second I want to go the actuator to go to the target of 5 millimeters in absolute position and you see the actuator moving Now I want to go to the target of 15 millimeters. Let's play with this ramp set point. The system can move uh, in a slow way or in a faster way. We can enable the XY graph load over position and this is the dynamic response of this black rubber if I want to go to 40 millimeters and you can see in real time the XY graph that is updating we can use the set point tool so in this case I wrote 40 millimeters and pushing the this button uh, the actuator goes relative relatively 40 millimeters back I push the plus button and the actuator goes to 40 millimeters plus the starting position that was 5 millimeters so 45 millimeters this is a, a nice tool if you are far from the screen you can see this big button now we can start uh, a sine waveform at 1 hertz with uh, the maximum at 35 millimeters and the minimum of the sign at 15 millimeters pushing the wave play button the sinus waveform starts and the cycling you can see the cycle count can enable the set point max a set point mean value in the graph we can increase the frequency of the sinus and activate the amplitude control and with the amplitude control there is no need to change the ID parameters because the amplitude will give you always the sinus amplitude that you want with the dynamic sensor values we can see the minimum and the maximum reached by the sensor of position in the in this case in the last second this is the dynamic delta maximum minus minimum Mm 
so we have different way of visualization of the data coming from the sensor of position and load cell. Decreasing the frequency, you can see the actuator moving slowly. And, um, at this frequency, we, sh we should uh, increase the time for the evaluation of the maximum and the minimum. But we will see this in another tutorial. It's quite uh, a smooth sinus with uh, an air actuator, but uh, the shape of the sinus depends also from the linear behavior of the sample. This sample has a, a non-linear behavior, but not so non-linear, so the sinus is quite good. This is uh, a load versus position, so you can see dynamically the response of this rubber. We can enable the graph position over cycles. So for example, every 10 cycles maximum and minimum reached by the sensor are inserted into this graph and this is a way to monitor the full fatigue test if I increase the set point max of the sinus we will see the graph updating towards the new set point of 40 millimeters every 10 cycle every 5 cycle for uh, longer uh, fatigue test uh, uh, we suggest to put one to to insert the point in the graph uh, in the graph uh, each 1000 cycles otherwise you have a lot of points you can show only the maximum so the auto scale will work only on the maximum or in the minimum or with the maximum and the minimum you can record the file with this frequency from 10 Hz to 1000 Hz stop at the playing of the waveform now we can use the set point profile editor you can see the other tabs uh, that contains other functions with the set point profile editor you can edit your own profile in uh, load or position disable the load from the graph I can load a set point profile in a position like this no I don't want this other one okay this and uh, selecting uh, the set the profile editor the set point profile we can play this waveform uh, this waveform starts from 25 millimeters so it's better 
to go to round set point and go to 25 millimeters. Then selecting the set point profile. Okay, and then start playing the, the play button. Okay. Now we can see the actuator following our profile. Each time the profile is executed, the block counter increases the count. We can multiply by 0 0.20 the set point profile, so it's not in 10 seconds, but now in 2 seconds. So the waveform is executed 4 times each 10 seconds. If you want to go faster, this is a fast way. In another tutorial we will use in detail this set point profile editor. Now uh, we can switch to load control on the fly and we can ask the actuator to apply for example 200 newton with a ramp rate of 20 newton per second enable the load in the graph if set point max and mean are enabled in the graph maybe the auto scale will not work properly so disable set point max and set point min so the auto scale will work properly if i want uh, to go to 300 newton with a ramp rate on 100 newton per second now go back to 100 newton and uh, the integral contribute is working and um, the target is reached really in uh, an accurate mode I want 100, I want 400, Ten. so you can see how simple it is to apply the load you want to your sample. Okay, let's finish this brief introduction. Disable the pressure and disable the servo valve.